Hey, so let's check out the Gingerbread City. It's a pop-up that appears every year, the last few years in London, and it's the top architects who envision an ideal city made out of gingerbread. So it's taking the whole gingerbread house thing a little further than the usual person, and it is super cool. Come, let's take a look. <laughs> The 2022 Gingerbread City Exhibition takes place in Belgravia's Montcalm Street. Every year there is a theme and this year the theme is global, upping the ante from a gingerbread city to a whole gingerbread world. This year, five cities span five different climate zones, polar, continental, temperate, dry, and tropical. So here's Continental and it is super charming and the level of detail is amazing. Check out the train and the carousel that spins around. It is really engaging for children to watch. So the event is now in its sixth year and it brings together architects, designers and engineers to create an entire world of gingerbread and the proceeds go to the Museum of Architecture. So you are seeing some of the finest design minds at work here and it really shows. So over a hundred of the leading architects, engineers and designers address the challenges of sustainable building around the world in this year's exhibit. They look at local resources, building methods, and the effect of building on the environment in these five climate zones. It's an urban landscape that addresses issues of building in a post-COVID world, as well as climate change. So those little markers you see around this different exhibit show which architectural practice um, made that particular set. It's fascinating checking out all the details and um, the uh, gingerbread men are tinier than the lollipops. This museum of marshmallow, by the way, was 4D printed with sugar. And there's a moving windmill with glass candy panes. And this is a pub in the ye old British pub tradition. So next up is dry, which we would also know as a desert climate. And it's got definitely got Middle Eastern influences. So it's not something you see very often. By the way, if you like this video, remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more travel and travel-related videos, uh, remember to click subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, thanks. So this is done by an architectural practice, and it is in support of women's rights in Iran. Just in case you thought you couldn't do political activism in gingerbread, they're here to prove you wrong. How cool is this? So, as you can see, there's a whole gamut of sweet treats used from biscuits to cakes and icing and candy to create a range of buildings for urban living in different environments. And you have houses and train stations and museums and wetlands, parks, skyscrapers, market squares, tarot houses, and, and lots and lots of green around, which is really important for biophilic building. And that's what the architecture practices are encouraging that we live more with nature okay so my favorite part tropical or the beach climate um i am a warm weather girl and check out the beach and all these great things such as pools and water okay but my absolute favorite have to be these little beach huts how cute are they just charming so you've seen uh, the trains running around before um but this section was supposed to have a cable car and uh, it wasn't working when I went to visit though, so that was a bit of a bummer. But um, you get to vote for your favorite exhibit in each of the zones. Obviously I voted for the beach huts in the tropical zone and then in the temperate zone I voted for that fabulous train station because that was just amazing, the level of detail. Now we're on to the polar zone, which is as icy as you would expect. And look, there's ice skyscrapers and geodesic domes and uh, lots of super cool things. Um, oh, by the way, there is um, a family-friendly workshop event um, in a separate room, which is a separate ticket as well. And there you can build your own gingerbread house. Um, they are a lot of fun with kids, and I know that corporate events do it as well. My kids have done it in years past, and they have loved it. And they would bring home their gingerbread, and unlike a lot of gingerbread cookies, 
uh, sets. These gingerbread houses are actually really well made and the gingerbread wasn't stale and the, and the food was, and it was actually really tasty. My kids would go to school and somehow I would find myself nibbling on it and that would kind of um, annoy them a little bit, but I call it the mommy tax for having taken them and you know, such difficulty and endured such hardship taking them to this exhibit in the first place. Surely I deserved it. So that was a bit of mommy guilt working on them. Um, and believe it or not, they were young enough to fall for that. In this exhibit, I loved the animals lying um, on the shore, the walruses and the seals, and it was so cute. So that was the gingerbread city. How cool was that? I really enjoy it every year. It's one of the best things to do in London at Christmas time. And if you like this video, remember to click like. And if you want to see more travel and travel related content, remember to click subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.